spent a time there and have had a renal failure, calculating their renal function is probably not the most important thing. Um, so there's that. <laughs> I mean, they're going to die unless they get a transplant. So, you know, we do the best we can. If they're that bad off, they're going to go on dialysis. Mm -hmm. And then you dose them for dialysis. Um, generally, CRT, depending on how stable or unstable they are. Um, CRT, you dose it based on you know, what nephrology sets the flow rate for. So usually 40 mils per minute. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, especially in pediatrics, that you can do is when you're not able to trust a serum creatinine is you get urine outputs. Um, so they can do a 24-hour urine output to determine how much is this patient actually peeing, essentially. Yeah, and they'll do serum creatinine to urine creatinine ratio, and based on that ratio, you could see efficacy of kidney function. Um, but again, related to HRS, you have two different types. Type one, the patient on average only lasts two weeks. And so in the grand scheme of things, in those two weeks on average, your dose adjustment, you're just gonna kind of keep going down on your ladder of, <laughs> of dose adjustment that you have to make on a patient um, and try to gauge it as best you can. And I mean, truly though, you're going to end up using side effects as well. Like if the patient starts experiencing um, severe itching or severe nausea, vomiting because of a certain drug, okay, I should probably dose adjust that down a little bit more. So that's, again, where you're basing it off of what is clinically happening to the patient. Okay, I'm going to change the dose. And a lot of the drugs we use in the patients with hepatorenal syndrome, I mean, we use in these patients all the time, so they're not necessarily the hepatotoxic ones or require a lot of adjustment. That's already kind of factored in.